This is breaking news. The Yonkers Police Department is holding a press conference about the investigation into a double homicide on Shipman Avenue. Let's go to it now. Open it up for questions. So, Commissioner John Mo. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, as the mayor said, we'll give you what we know right now. This is a very, very, we're in the very early stages of this investigation. So, obviously, we're running down um, multiple leads to see what happened. But yesterday at around 4 30 in the afternoon, uh, second precinct police officers were called to a residence on shipment uh, on a check on the welfare. So what a check on the welfare call is, is there was a concerned friend uh, who hadn't heard from the occupants of this particular house uh, in a number of days. So the officers responded with the concerned friend. Uh, there was no answer at the door and they did find a broken window on the back of the house, so they forced entry. When they forced entry, they found uh, two deceased female. Uh, at this point, we believe it's mother and daughter. Out of respect to the victims' families, we're not going to release the names at this point. Uh, as soon as we do, um, we, we as soon as we make those notifications, we will. But of course, as always, our hearts go out to the victims and the victims' families and friends that that have to endure this. Uh, when the officers entered the building, the the house, they found two deceased females uh, with trauma. The trauma appears at this point to be knife trauma. And uh, at that point, they pulled out. Uh, we constructed a, a crime scene, and now they're actively investigating the scene. Uh, again, this is less than 24 hours, so we have lots and lots of leads to run down. There are a number of leads that are being actively investigated, and we're going to continue to run down those leads until we find out exactly what happened. So I'll open it up to questions now. Mayor, uh, Commissioner, we hear that there is a boyfriend. Have you been able to speak with the boyfriend of the, one, of the victim, the victim? No, no. At this point, we're speaking with a number of people. Uh, we cannot say who we're speaking to and who we're not, but we are speaking to a number of people. Again, there are multiple leads that we're trying to run down to make sure that we get the right information. But at this point, we're not, gonna, we're not at liberty to talk about who we're talking to and who we're not speaking to. Any evidence of force entry in the apartment, window, front door, side doors, rear doors? So the question was, is there any sign of forced entry? There was a broken window in the back, but we don't know if that was forced entry. Um, we, we don't know if this was a person who was let inside or wasn't let inside. We're still running that down. It's a possibility, but I just want to emphasize, too, that this appears to be an isolated incident, and, and we want to make sure that the public understands that, you know, they can rest easy, that there's not someone out here, um, you know, doing this kind of thing on a, on a random basis. We think that the, the, the perpetrator knew the victims. Uh, their bodies were found inside. Uh, do we have the locations? Yeah, w uh, right now we, we don't want to talk about what, exactly where, but both inside the house on the second floor. Okay, both of them were inside the house, Antoinette, and they uh, we're not going to talk about where they were right now because, again, we're still, if, as you can see behind us, they're actively uh, working the crime scene. We have our crime scene unit there. There's a ton of evidence to take, and there's a lot of work to do at this point. Were they <coughs> together or no. separate? No. Separate locations. To the best of our knowledge, we think, and again, it's very, very preliminary. We think that uh, someone had seen at least the daughter, because we believe it's a mother and a daughter, had seen the daughter uh, on Friday. So you're only talking a couple of days ago. That was the last time they were seen, and I think that's kind of what elicited the concern and had the friend call and, and say, hey, I haven't heard from my friend in a while. Can you can you come with us and just check on her and see, see if she's okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, I hear that the youngest victim probably worked for the Yonkers Public Schools. Is that true, sir? Uh, one of the victims did work for the Yonkers Public Schools. We'll, we're still running down all of that. It, it's a good question. The question was, is there any cameras? We obviously will be not only looking for ring video at the location, but we'll also be looking for video up and down the street. Do you have a person of interest? We are running multiple leads at this point. It's, uh, as I said earlier, it's, it's, uh, it's early, very early in the investigation. We're not even at six, the 16-hour point, so uh, it's going to take a little time to sort this all out. Can you take, tell us about the ages of the victims? W it was a mother and daughter, I believe. I can't give you the ages, but it was a mother and daughter. Both, both, uh, both of adult age. Did they own the house? Did they have tenants? Was it a 
It's our understanding that they own the house and they live there together. That's not the house directly in front of us. It is not. Yeah. Now, Commissioner, the, the police keeps the database of the, when you respond to a house for the issue. Have you ever responded to this house before? There was one call. The question was, have we ever responded to the house before? The, 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 the answer is we responded in 2012. So it's almost over ten, almost 10 years ago that responded. We haven't had any calls since then. Was that a domestic complaint? Or? It was not a domestic complaint. Can you tell us the nature of the call? I think it was a check on the welfare as well. Um, I, I heard the term hoarding. Is, was there any collecting or hoarding of that nature going on? It appears that way. It appears that there were lots of, I, I don't know if I would characterize it as hoarding at this point, but I will say there's lots and lots and lots of items and property in the house and, and, and in, in and around the house. Does that make it tougher for you to know? Absolutely. So the question was, will that make, you know, if, if there is a hoarding component to this, will that make it more difficult? Absolutely. Because, you know, we're going to have to be, as we always are, the Yonkers Police Department, we're going to be meticulous about how we go through this investigation, and we have to make sure we go through everything. So the fact that there's lots and lots of items all over the place, it's going to take that much longer to really uh, make sure that we get the scene all wrapped up properly. Were either of the victims handicapped or special needs or anything like that? Uh, we do not know that at this point. Councilman, I believe that you've been here before trying to help this family. You knew them personally, correct? And what was your impression? Uh, I, I did not know the family personally, uh, but we were here with the Office of the Aging uh, working on, on trying to, to help this family, um, but we were not successful in making contact. Okay, um, so this is obviously a, a horrific scene. The uh, police department is going, and our detectives are going to work around the clock to do what they need to do uh, to capture um, the person who may have committed this crime. Uh, I have no doubt that they'll, they'll do like they always do, and, and, they'll, and they'll capture uh, the individual or individuals who may be involved with this. Um, but again, I think just to, to emphasize what the commissioner said to the residents of this community, that uh, we, the indications are that this is an isolated incident. And, uh, and I think uh, uh, that's important that people understand that. So uh, with that, uh, unless there are any other questions, we'll... We're hearing that the, the scene might be taped off for uh, several hours or maybe even days. Is there a particular reason for that? Yes. The, so the question was the scene could be potentially taped off for a number of days. We will take as long as we need to do the job properly. So, you know, crime scene collection, especially in this day and age with forensics and all of the technology that we have available, we really, really are very, we go very slowly, very methodically to make sure that we're absolutely meticulous in the evidence collection, because in the end, this is all about bringing people to justice and giving some semblance of closure to the victims, uh, families, and friends. I think the mayor said it, the right answer, the, the right description of the scene is horrific. Horrific. And our hearts go out to the families, as, as we say. We, we are in the Yonkers Police Department, we're very, very victim-centric, and we want to make sure that we give them time to, for us to notify them and, and show them respect and concern and, and extend our real sincere uh, condolences to the family and friends. All right, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.